Takes the Sink family. We are back. We're here with Aces. Yo, what's A-Sis. good? Everybody like, what? what is Aces? Really, Aces. It's like Aces, <laughs> like your sister, like your, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's where I got Aces it from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we want to change the narrative. You specifically are changing the narrative, and you are definitely bridging that gap. No, no more me mugging, right? No, no, I've never <laughs> mean mugging. I'm in the uh, no, not for you. <laughs> not, definitely not you. No, your spirit doesn't even allow it. <laughs> I mean, like when you even encounter it, you diffuse it, right? With yeah. your sudden hospitality. Are you originally from? South Florida? Yes. Oh, okay. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's see, you keep saying Fort Lauderdale is a difference. Oh, with Miami, I don't, I don't, I don't get that either. Like, Uh-oh. I don't. Even you know, with the girls, like, you know, some of the girls, you know, they bad and bougie, you know. Right. But, but I'd be like, no, the first thing, hey, beautiful, I'm exactly. gonna acknowledge your beauty. Of course. I'm of going course. to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to give, uh, um, or it's easy to send out positive. Right. But if somebody's sending you out positive things, it's hard to give negative things back. It's true. Because then you'll be like, dang, no, like, I was really, really mean to her. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. So you, whatever energy you give, you're naturally going to receive it back. Yeah. Right. It's difficult. It's difficult to stay in that sunken place if you're receiving that positive vibe and that positive mm-hmm. energy. It's true. So, woo, I mentioned this last show, the low blow that we received, uh-huh. with, you know, uh, the falling legend, right? And I just, I gotta show them love. You know, I'm mm-hmm. an '80s baby, so yeah, I'm, I'm up there, you guys. I'm, a, I'm an '80s baby. Me too. Me too. I so I like grew this. up on DMX, mm-hmm. and um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us we face these atrocities, and we know not how to deal with them. And we all have different ways. Some people go to the gym. Some people mm-hmm. just cry it out. You know, some people True. you know pray about it. You know, fast therapy. You know, we have different means of, you know, going through our trials and tribulations and overcoming our obstacles. So what do you do when you're in that place? Because we all go to that place. place. No one is Is like exempt exempt (laughs) at all. We all have that, you know, those moments. What do you do? What's your voice of reasoning? Um, I definitely write. I used to have like three, four books full of um, songs that I had in my head. And now it's, you know, when you're older and you're zoning on your crafts, um, you do a lot of more freestyling. Mm-hmm. But I like to write and I like to draw. Oh. So, yeah. Like, do you think about, pub- are you thinking about considering publishing them anytime soon? Um, no, not me, but my daughter. She's uh-huh. really good. So I'm, okay. she doesn't know, but I'm taking all her, like every time she comes to me, like, mommy, look what I drew. Or look what, she, I mean, she's really good at 10 uh, years old. Awesome. I was like, yo. So I like kind of like sneak in. And I'm like, one day mm-hmm. I'm just going to publish it and, and, you know, and leave a legacy for her to, so she can grow up and do the things she wants to do. Nice, yeah. nice. So three weeks, you've been in three years. So this is like really your baby. Right, this is, right. Yeah, this is your baby. What expectations do you have for this? project um i'm enjoying the journey so Uh i i do plan ahead you know Mm -hmm. just to be like on time and do things like that but i'm enjoying hosting i'm enjoying connecting with people i'm enjoying to putting the you know connecting the dots Mm -hmm. you know but um yeah love it love it there's a lot of greats that came from a lot of here fort lauderdale right yes Um, what is any any people that you you know, are familiar with in, in your area that you want to shout out or you oh. watching their journey? Hey, um, Lajon Slim. Oh. He uh, stopped by at La Luz. Okay. And um, definitely, definitely he dropped some some uh, work. He also did two videos. Okay. So shout outs to him. Shout outs to him. He's back on the, uh, I think he was um, signed to Def Jam. So oh. he's back and making some music. So What's your take on that? Independent versus being signed to a label? Independent. Mm, and why? Independent gives you the liberty to do or to be who you want to be, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to be funny, because some people like to just stick to artistry. Right. But if you want to connect to multiple people, they want to know your personality. Right. They want to know what you eat. They want to know if you go to the gym, mm-hmm. you, you know. Right. So that's how I'm seeing and that's how I, I, I do my um, as far as like networking and being um, as independent as I you know I want to be and then I want to touch the money I don't need everybody eating in my, my plate I know that's right <laughs> yeah so as an indie artist you gotta understand though 
that is going to come out your pockets. So you got to maintain some type of job. Yes. We're maintaining our job right now. Period. We have a short break. We'll be right back in just a minute. 